Hey, what's up, everyone? So, the last video I showed how to get Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1 working properly on Windows 10. Um, this one is for Episode 2 to run on Windows 10. A lot of people have been complaining that they can't get the configuration uh, to save because the launcher keeps crashing. So, they can't get the game working in full screen. I'm going to show you how to get that to work. Uh, first, we want to go into the installation folder. So we're going to right click on Sonic 4, go to manage, and browse local files. Now that's going to take us to the installation folder. And what you want to do is you're going to want to change the compatibility of Sonic.exe to Windows XP Service Pack 3, click Apply, click OK, and do the same for the launcher. Uh, now, the problem is that the launcher is supposed to create a configuration file in the config folder, but because it crashes, it never does. Uh, so, what you want to do is you want to create a text file, okay, and like I put here, uh, user config.txt. So you want to um, make a text file just like that, user config, but we're not going to leave it .txt. We're going to change that, okay? We're going to make it .cfg. Now, let's open that up. This has the proper configuration settings to get the game working in full screen without any problems. I'm going to leave the details to this in the description and what you're going to want to do is just copy um, what I'm going to leave for you into notepad save the file and then change the extension um, to CFG okay dot CFG put that file into the config folder Okay, put that file in here, just like that, and your game should work properly afterwards. So I'm going to show you. Okay, let's go to Sonic here, start the game. Sega! And as you see, it works just fine. Hold on, let me just grab the controller. Works just fine with the controller. Okay, works just fine. Oops. <laughs> okay. So, just follow the instruction in, instructions in the description, and you should be able to get it to work. Enjoy.